I'm gonna tell you quickly about the three pros and the two little cons of staying in Mondello, which is a popular seaside district in Palermo. If you don't know me, my name is Nico, I am 100% purebred Sicilian and the founder of wearepalermo.com and the Sicilian Way, the biggest travel guide to Palermo. Let's get started. Number one, it is home of one of the most popular beaches in Sicily. No doubt the major reason people stay in Mondello in the summer is for its white beach and crystal clear water. Mondello has about 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles of immaculate beach with water so transparent that it looks like mineral water. It features a small free public beach that I don't recommend and a paid beach with many Lidos, bars and restaurants. You have everything you need to spend entire days in total relaxation. Number two. It has cool villas you can rent. The Mondello district features these pretty tree-lined avenues with plenty of beautiful Art Nouveau and modern villas you can rent. Staying in a villa is definitely the most beautiful way to experience Palermo given that the sun shines for about nine months a year. If you are on a budget and want to have a similar experience, don't worry because you can rent a room inside one of the many B&B villas you can find in the area and enjoy the shared outdoor spaces. Number three, it has an active summer nightlife. In the summer, Mondello turns into the most popular nightlife area in town. Here you can choose between a wide variety of bars, restaurants and clubs all lining the shore. Here you can enjoy the famous Italian aperitivo, which is definitely the locals' favorite activity. Most of these places are pretty cool and perhaps a little bit fancy. You typically see here welcomed hair, linen shirts, high heels and expensive bags. But you can also find some places that are more casual. But I recommend mingling with the locals for a full experience. There are two red flags you need to consider here. First, if you're not coming between June and September, I will not encourage you to stay here because this part of the city falls asleep in the colder months. Second, Mondello is far from the city center and public transportation is really bad, especially through the night. So if you do not rent a car, be ready for many headaches. That's it! In the description box you can find the link to the best accommodations in Mondello as well as the other areas I recommend, so check them out. Instead, if you are already on this page, just scroll down to find this information. Ciao!